All right, time for another episode of My Two Cents. Today's topic is going to be existence is inside of non-existence. And because this topic is fresh to me, I have a cheat sheet. Okay, so existence inside of non-existence. First, I'm going to start by defining my perception of existence. For all of the non-scientists out there, existence is everything that exists, reality, etc., etc. So, science believes that the universe and existence are the same thing. That the universe is, in fact, existence. This is the standard thinking. That all that there is, is in the universe, and the universe is the combination of everything. If it is, it's in the universe. My thinking is different. My thinking is, is that the universe is the universe, and existence is the existence. The universe is inside of existence. So, this isn't about the universe, this isn't about existence, this is about the actual abstract concept of existence itself. And it is from that that I describe existence is inside of non-existence. What is the universe, before I continue when I drop the universe completely, what is the universe? The universe is dynamic dimensional coordinates governed by dynamic forces. What is existence? Existence is static dimensional coordinates, or geometric volume, governed by dynamic forces, which we consider the normal laws of physics. Now with that said, I'm going to leave that subject and go focus strictly on existence. Existence is the state of things that are, that are or real, you know, you, the environment you live in, everything that the, that, that the mind essence of the, of the, the trinity, the, the body trinity acknowledges as real is existence. That includes your thoughts, your imaginings, everything and anything that isn't non-existent is existence. What is non-existence? Well, non-existence is the opposite of existence. Their actual definitions and descriptions are what define them as what they are and who they are. So what I have, what I want you to do is I want you to follow me along. I want you to ignore my idea of existence. And I want you to think about your own idea of existence. And I want you to remember that whatever you believe existence to be, non-existence is the exact opposite of that. This is going to be what I explain as Boolean logic. So, we know that the universe is inflating into something. I believe the universe is inflating into existence. I believe that the finite universe, as in regards to geometric volume, the dynamic geometric volume is inflating into the static infinite universe. I'm sorry, static infinite existence. So we have the universe as its own container inside of the existence that is its own container. And existence is inside of non-existence, which is what I'm going to explain. So where is existence physically located? I believe that existence is physically located inside of non-existence. And there's a reason for that. Okay. I have to explain the nature of self-describing dualism. Existence and non-existence is abstract concepts of the mind are part of each other. They're, they're connected like magnetism. They are, they are the exact opposite of one another and are dependent on each other for their very own existence. And what I mean is, is that things that exist only exist if you check them against things that don't exist. How do you know that you exist? Well, you only exist if you don't. You only exist if you, if you don't not exist. That's to say that the things that don't exist know that they don't exist because they can acknowledge, they can check themselves against the things that do exist. Try and keep this short, YouTube. So, moving on. Using Boolean logic, Boolean logic is basically the condition that something is either true or false, no in betweens. So, what I've done is I have come up with a, a few, uh, a few parameters, so to speak that describe existence and non-existence. What they are is we'll use, because the best way to describe anything is to use, give it a magnitudinal value. That's usually what, we, what is done in mathematics to describe the universe. We use, magnetism, we use a magnitudinal value in a number line to create equations that will allow us to measure things in a very chronological, sequential, reliable manner. So we're gonna assign existence and non-existence some values to reinforce my idea. First thing we're going to do is we're going to say that existence is always greater than is always greater than 
non-existence and never equal to non-existence. We're going to say that non-existence is always greater than, I'm sorry, always less than existence, but never greater than existence. Existence and non-existence are never equal to each other. That's very important that you remember that, that no matter what, what happens, existence and non-existence can never be equal. Existence is always greater than non-existence, and non-existence is never equal to existence. So how do you, uh, how do one check for existence? Well, before I get to there, I want to finish some of the parameters. A few more parameters is this. Uh, existence, but let's use the value zero. When, when talking about existence and non-existence, using the value zero, negative zero describes non-existence, and positive zero describes existence. If you are equal to or greater than existence, then you exist. Otherwise, you don't exist. If you are less than or equal to existence, then you don't exist. Otherwise, you do exist. And the flip side would be, if non-existence is negative zero, and you are equal to or greater than non-existence, then you do exist. Otherwise, you don't exist. If you are less than or equal to non-existence, then you don't exist. Otherwise, you do exist. And I hope I got that right the first time, because I try not to do edit jobs. But keeping that in mind, how do you know that existence, how do I know that existence is inside of non-existence. Well, if I've covered all of the bases and you're keeping up with me so far, you can simply check the logic to find out that existence is in fact inside of non-existence. And you do this by simply asking yourself a few simple questions. We, we should know that existence is greater than, is equal to itself and greater than non-existence. We should know that non-existence is equal to itself and less than existence. We should also know that existence is never equal to non-existence. That's what we should know. So, what you can do is, is you can check non-existence against existence and determine whether or not they're inside of each other. When describing the relationship between existence and non-existence as a location, the best way to do it is by using the, the rules inside and outside. Once you use the rule inside and outside, because there's a thousand different ways you can do this, but once you, as long as you use the magnitude of value and accept the dualistic relationship that they have, you can check existence and non-existence in any manner and come up with the same and draw the same conclusions. So we're going to use the we're going to use inside and outside. Inside is always less than in, inside is always less than outside. That's the first rule. If something is inside, it's less than outside. If something is outside, it's greater than inside. So those are the two rules. So we're going to start by putting non-existence inside of existence. We're going to put non-existence inside of this container. I have the container. We're going to take non-existence and put non-existence in the container. Now, non-existence is inside of the container and existence is outside the container. We know the container is less than outside. So non-existence is right now is less than existence. You have to check the rules. If you're less than or equal to existence, then you don't exist. So if your non-existence is inside of existence and is less than existence, it can't exist. So non-existence doesn't exist inside of existence. It can't. This time, we're going to put existence. Not a galaxies are existence. We're going to put existence in the container. So we're going to put existence inside of the container. And we know that non-existence is outside of the container. So we check the rules. Existence is inside of non-existence. Well, we know that the container itself is less than existence. But we also know that existence and non-existence are never equal to each other. So existence very nature is self-evident of itself existing. So even though it's under non-existence inside the container, it exists. It can't not non-exist. So it still exists. We also understand that non-existence being outside of the container is greater than existence. Anything greater than existence exists. Therefore, non-existence not being equal to existence exists outside of the container. Their relationship is still stable. Existence can check itself against non-existence to know that it exists, and non-existence can check itself against existence to know that it, exi that it doesn't exist. The container itself is best described as a threshold. It's not a physical boundary or a location or some area that you can measure with a ruler. It is 
the dualistic relationship between the two is best described as a threshold, Wikipedia threshold for more information. And that is how you can tell that existence is inside of non existence. That is my two cents. I hope I was clear. I probably left a lot of stuff out. Um, I have a theory of everything on Facebook if you want to know more about this information. You just go to Dr. Mikio's discussion board and you know, leave your comments underneath this video. And that's, that's it. Hopefully it's another 10 minutes.